OK, today I'm going to demonstrate another Dragon sound cartridge, the Tandy Orchestra 90. However, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cheat. I don't actually own one of these yet, so we're going to use an emulation. Fortunately, the Orchestra 90 is emulated very well by x -Raw. So first, I need to start x -Raw, telling it to plug in the Orchestra 90 cartridge and load the correct ROM. This was originally developed for the TRS-80 Model 1 and ported to the Coco later in its life. It's based on a pair of 8-bit digital audio converters. So now we start the software, so the cartridge would be inserted. Uh, because it's a Coco cartridge, it doesn't quite work correctly on the Dragon. The keyboard mapping is wrong. So once I've started the cartridge, I'll need to tell x to use a Coco keyboard, otherwise it will behave very strangely. Now we're lucky, there's a huge amount of music out there for this cartridge. However, most of it was written for the TRS-80 version, so we are going to need to convert it. Given my poorly Jean-Michel Jarre rendition in my last demo, I thought I would show how well the Orchestra 90 can play the same track. So we'll download a copy of Oxygen from the Colour Computer Archive, and then use my little Perl script to convert it into a .cas format for the Dragon to load. Uh, this, I'll put a link to this script at the, um, at the bottom of this video. Once created, uh, we can load the CAS file into Orchestra 90 software. Now, Orchestra 90 doesn't use standard musical notation, but instead uses its own text language, which I can show you some of in just a moment. I will admit I haven't worked out how to transcribe new music for it yet. Uh, there's a challenge for another day. But this tells it what notes to play, when and for how long, and what channel. OK, I think we're ready now. Uh, We'll just compile the music, then put your feet up and listen to this in stereo if you can.
Right, well, uh, thank you very much for for watching. Uh, any strange clicks you hear in that are due to my Macintosh, and I don't think they, they would appear if you actually had the real sound cartridge. Thank you very much.